This has been quite the day. Uh, it's all been a long day and we're still going. I uh, am hoping to be able to move. Oh my gosh, look at this. Hey, what are you two over here doing? What are you two over here doing? You're gonna, don't you know that there's real longhorns in that pasture right there behind you? There are real longhorns, not little babies who suck on bottles. <laughs> No, yes, no, there's real longhorns and they're in that pasture right there. And what are y'all doing over here? Because you're not real longhorns. You are babies who suck on bottles. And do not give me a hard time, yo. Should you want a sugar tit? What do you want a sugar tit? A sugar tit. Y'all want a sugar tit? Yeah, I bet y'all do want sugar tit. Then get on out of here. I'm working. I am driving my trailer over to get it set up to hopefully, and I say hopefully, tomorrow. I will load my longhorns. I'll do it in the morning before it gets hot. I don't want them to follow me. Boy, they're having all kinds of fun. I know with that light that's on, uh, that motion activated light, it came on when I walked by. Now y'all can't see anything. It's put quite the glare on you. Look at those two. <laughs> there. Maybe y'all are longhorns. <laughs> I just don't have any horns. They're cute, man. I know what y'all are saying. Lester, you promised you wouldn't focus on these babies in every darn video. I'm not trying to. I just can't take my eyes off of them. I cannot take my eyes off these two. And besides, they were in my path. I didn't go search them out. They, I ran across them. So I think that they're fine for now. They're not going to follow me. They uh, are close enough to the shop. And I see a Trixie there in the doorway watching them. So they're being protected, friends. Don't worry. They're not messing around, though, which is cute. Boy, they're learning their legs. And when they learn their legs, you've got to watch them. Now, there's been a lot of changes here over the last couple of days. If you keep up with both channels, meaning I'm a survivor and Longhorn Lesters, you know. All right, so here's the... Our livestock guardian dog saying, you know what? It's getting late. Y'all need to come on to the shop. Watch this. This is just the most beautiful thing. Millie and Fiona are going to walk them calves back up to the shop because it's getting dark. And that's really, really sweet. They're just amazing dogs. No, what I was saying is that we have done some pasture sorting. And we're trying to get all of our longhorns back to the I'm a Survivor property because our pastures, they, uh, our pastures there still have grass. Not a lot of grass, but some grass. Find your words, Lester. I get to talking so fast, and I end up trying to say stuff faster than my mouth can work. All right, let me just get pulled around. Y'all give me a couple of minutes here, will you? We're going to leave the side-by-side -side park there so I can use it for the light. We don't have lights run out to our barn yet. All right, we got Santana and Charlene coming up first. Oh, there's Tex. He's kind of following behind. Now listen, we don't mind who we load first. I would rather load Santana and Charlene first. Come on, baby. Sook, 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 sook. Because I do believe they will be a lot easier to manage. And I don't want to take Tex out of here and leave them by themselves.
to get me a little spanky stick. I don't want to have to spank anybody. I'm not trying to spank anybody. I need to have the spanky stick. Just get them to move. All right, now we are all inside the chute together. We are all in the chute. This is the chute here. Come on, Santana, go, 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 go. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Go, 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 go. If I can get, go, go, go. If I can get her and Gracie, go, go. Come on, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Come on, go, 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 go. All right. All right, we are loaded and ready to go. Let's have one peek at our ladies. Hi, girls. Can't look in there. Our windows are, hi, babies. Are you so mad at daddy? Are y'all so mad at daddy? I'm sorry, okay? Uh, let's get on over before it, gets, before it warms up, okay? Be nice and cool while we're driving. All right, don't move around too much. Don't move around too much, sweetie. If you move around too much, you're gonna make everything shaky. Oh, Texas doesn't understand why. I'm sorry, buddy. I know, sir. We'll talk about it when I get home, okay? Guys, look at the pastures there behind him. It's not hard to understand why we're doing what we're doing. All right, let's get on the road before it starts to warm up. It is 6.30 in the morning. We have a nice, cool 81 degrees. All right, here we go. So we have Santiana and Charlene. I'm going to pull into mom and dad's driveway so I can come around back behind my house and then back up and unload them right into the corral area. I'm hoping that all the other cows will be back in the back and that will give these girls a chance to find their legs. It's gonna be kind of wobbly and shaky coming right out of the trailer, obviously. And I don't want to, uh, Santana have to get right out and start fighting. She will fight. She's going to get right out and she's going to fight. Uh, I also would like to see her have a semi reunion with her children and her grandchildren. And uh, it's going to be kind of hard to do <laughs> with, uh, with Marilyn and Jezebel wanting to fight. Now, don't get me wrong. Santana may also end up having to fight Pearl. And guys, they've been apart for a while. So, <laughs> don't say you never fought with your mom. Maybe not fight, fight. You may not have been pulling hair with your mother. But, uh, how many, how many, let me hear you. This will be funny. Serious question. Serious question, even though I don't have a serious face. How many of you moms have gone off and moved out and have your own life going 
and then you invite your mom over, your mom, and then when she gets there, man, you just want to pull her hair out because she's driving you crazy. <laughs> you do. You want to pull her hair out because she's driving you crazy. So Pearl has established herself as number one in her herd. Yesterday we had to introduce Marilyn and Jezebel. Pearl claimed her spot. It took her a while, but she finally claimed her spot as number one. However, today Santana shows up. <laughs> oh no. What's Pearl going to do? Is she going to succumb and give in to mom? I don't know. We're about to find out though. We are about to find out. So the boys are doing great. <laughs> They're sitting there eating together. Oh, Waylon, you need to stop all that. All right, so the heifers are off in the back. We're going to go ahead and open a gate here. Mm. All right, sweetie, you ready? Everything okay? Was the ride over fine? All right, just don't worry about them boys over there. Guys, I don't know what to expect here. I know. That's Santoro. That's your son. That is your son. He's growing up, though. Uh, I'm going to back up and let these ladies out here. Y'all give me a moment. Y'all need to stop all that mess. All right, my friends. We're about to go ahead and open up our speed gate. Come on, loves. Come on, girls. There we go. Come on, Charlene. That right there is her way of saying I'm in charge and you're not. Charlene, this is all new for Charlene. Don't forget, she was not born here. Santana was. Well, okay, she's kind of making uh, her acquaintance with Santoro, who is her son, who she's not seen in a very long time. She's never met Waylon, which would in essence be her son-in-law. This is cute. Now, the ladies have not come up yet. It's still gonna, it's gonna get better, guys. It's gonna get better. All right, so Santiana and Charlene are running towards the back. They're not taking their time. They're running, and I'm, I don't want to have to run to keep up with them. I do not want to run to keep up with them. Uh, look how good everyone's being, though. All of the girls have already adjusted, and they're, they look like a real herd. Oh, my goodness, Lester Morrow. What have I got here? Have I got me a real herd of longhorns? This is beautiful. All right, so there's her two daughters. They've never met Charlene. There's her granddaughter and Jolene. Charlene's getting close to mama. Jezebel is off to the side just kind of watching. That's the black and white one. Everyone else is family here. They're all family here, y'all, except for the black and white one and then the mean white one coming up. <laughs> The mean white one coming up is not family. So we don't, that's where, if there's going to be any fighting, that's where it's going to come from. From that one right there. So I don't know this for a fact, but I do believe that Pearl just gave mom privileges as far as, okay, your mama. It'll take a little time. I am so happy there's not been any pushing and shoving going on. No hair pulling. No claws have come out. Look at those two who were beating the hell out of each other yesterday. Now they're sitting there side by side like they... Uh oh, here we go. This is what we got to worry about right here. That's Marilyn. Okay, so Santana is telling Jezebel to get that. Get the heck out. Get out of here. Move along. I don't know you, and I don't like your colors. And now... Marilyn is right there behind her. 
Santana's not a fool. She knows she has to take them one at a time. She ain't going to take them both on. Uh-oh. So Santana is also having to say, you know what? I got a baby to look after. Come on, Charlene. Let's just go back up to the front. And, and no one's going to give them any peace, though. Jolene, why don't you just get on out of there and stop trying to incite violence? Jolene just wants to see her grandma fight. How many of y'all just would love to... Most people don't want to see their grandmother have to fight, Jolene. Uh -uh. Most people would not want to see grandma have to fight. All right, so this is Marilyn here. And we know Marilyn, she's a tough one, y'all. We, we said that yesterday. Hey, sweetie, you want me to love you for a little bit? Can I love on you? Listen, I don't mean to be mean, okay? I'm not trying to be mean. I do love you, but I just don't want any violence here. All right. So these are the two we're gonna watch out for right over here. I, and I knew that. How did I just know that already? How did I just know that? All right, so there'll be a lot of people who will have some uh, difficulties in telling all of our females apart now. This is, this is Marilyn. Take a good look at Marilyn. Notice the light tan around her uh, feet, the lower part of her legs there. And she's, she's probably our prettiest cow as far as health goes. She's just a really good looker. You are. Great set of horns. Just a really good looking cow. All right, I was wrong. You are by far our best looking little cow, okay? You are our best looking little heifer. Yes, you are. You are amazing in every single way. And then, uh, of course, there goes Santiana. Now, Santiana has a little poop behind him because she was nervous from the trailer ride, guys. It always happens when you go into a trailer and you get nervous. That happens. Charlene's great, though. Guys, we have a lot of white cows. I'm just realizing something. All these white longhorns are going to make it hard to tell them apart. <laughs> Let's go have a little peek at uh, all of our white longhorns. And don't forget, you know, who else we got over there at the, at the other property? Oh, boy, here we go. All right, that's what we were thinking that was going to happen at some point. Marilyn was going to have to test her. Marilyn was going to test her at some point. We knew it was going to happen. Now, as of right now, Santana has turned and walked away. See, Santana's problem right now is knowing she has a calf, so it's not just her. It's kind of like when you're young, before you have your children, you think life is all about you. And then once you have your kids, you realize that life is a lot more than just you. And you have someone else to look after. Now, at this point, Jezebel's going to try her shot. Jezebel's taking her shot now, thinking, you know what? Sweetie, you're not taking no shot. You're not going to take you. You're, okay, you're number one, baby. You're number one, okay? I'm sorry I said that you weren't. So... Santana's going to have to at some point regroup because she doesn't want to drop from one all the way down the totem pole. Sweetie, I don't want to fight with you, okay? I don't. I just want to watch what's going to happen with these th other girls. All they were able to do is kind of stand along there and sniff the ladies as they come through. <laughs> I know that sounds disgusting to you all, but can you imagine? Just can you imagine for a minute? I'm just going to put a scenario into your head, okay? It's going to be like at any ladies, if you've ever gone to the bar, to a club, or even in high school or some kind of event, what it happens? The guys all line up. The guys all were going to line up. I picture all of the guys lined up right through here, right? And as the ladies all come walking by, the guys are going to be like sitting there like checking them out. Like one after the other after the other. How intimidating is that going to be for these poor ladies? And what kind of example are we setting for our young ladies when that happens? All of our young ladies, uh, the Charlene's, the Jolene's. Yeah, what pressure? And then what pressure are we putting on the ladies who may not be in the best of tip-top condition or shape? I mean, come on, y'all. Sheesh. The things these animals will do. Animals. <laughs> and how would I even know about that? How would I even know about standing around watching as young ladies walk by hmm? I don't know it's because I watch too much TV too much TV and the internet Thanks. 
up so much junk. All right, boys, all ready for you. Look at all of the stuff this Harrow picks up. Come on, boys. Suck, 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 suck. Come on. All right, let's talk about what we've done. So we've opened up an entryway where the bulls now have access to both pastures. They have access to a small pond, which is an additional water source. Of course, they have their fresh water. They have access to more shade. Midday shade over here, midday shade over here, and of course, afternoon shade where we need it the most all along that back fence line. They are completely blocked off access to the ladies. The ladies will be having access to come along the lane up to the barn if they choose to and when they choose to, to eat and shelter and fresh water. My next project is going to be to put the wire onto a staple the wire onto the fencing just for an added layer of protection. Then I'll bring my trailer over and pick up all my extra supplies. I'm not quite done with these things yet. And uh, this pasture will be good. We'll be good with the bulls. We can bring Tex over. And then there's no rest for the weary because right behind that, we will go down and we'll, we're gonna work on some fencing behind my dad's house. And that will allow all of our females into the back 15 acres, which will give them a whole lot more stuff to eat and forage on. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.